Fine Tip Creative Studio. This thing is humongous and looks awesome. This is the Avengers Infinity War Thanos milestone statue from Diamond Select Toys. On the front here, you got this awesome shot of the statue. You can see here, it's got an alternate gauntlet. Let's get this thing unboxed. Let's do it. Before we pull this out, we got the certificate of authenticity. It's got an image of the Thanos milestone statue, authentic diamond select toys, and it shows the designers and shows we've got number 21 of 1000. Very cool. Let's go ahead and get the base out first. Here at the bottom of the base, you can see that it has the number. So in this case, also on the bottom, it says we have number 21. Probably about five pound base. As you can see, the base is a nice big chunk of rock. It's got some nice texture along the sides. Nice cool texture in the grass in the center here. You have a nice different shades of green. You got the hole where his foot is gonna key in there. The base looks pretty cool. Where do you wanna get the gauntlets or the statue out? The statue out first. All right. Is it heavy? It's pretty damn heavy. Check out that portrait. As you can see, there's the key for the boot. We're gonna be plugging that in right here. Man, that is nice. It's huge. Dynormous. Look at the calves on this sucker. All right, before we get into the statue review, we're gonna go ahead and give you a close-up look at the gauntlet. We got the closed fist one. And then over here we have the snapping. Which is the alternate gauntlet. So the closed fist one looks pretty cool. You got this nice bronze metallic finish. His hands clenched in a fist form. You got the six infinity stones all in their corresponding place. Really nice details in the line work. The closed fist looks nice. And then over here we have the snapping one. I really like how they look like they're placed in there. I like how they're also not painted. They're a bit transparent. Same thing on both of them. The bottom of the glove is similar, but then the top is different. Like I said, this one's snapping. The other one has a closed hand. Yeah, they both look really cool, but I think I prefer the snapping one. The snapping. You probably just gotta shimmy it in there. Nice. Yep. All right, and there it is, fully assembled, the Thanos Mothstone statue from Diamond Select Toys. This thing's impressive. snapping gauntlet in place as your review on this awesome statue. The portrait looks really good. He's got that menacing look on his face. He's ready to snap his fingers and eliminate half the population. Really nice details in his brow. You got a nice paint job in his eyes. I'm not loving the teeth on it. They're very defined white. with the white. That's probably the only negative thing I see on this statue. I wish they would have done a better paint job on the teeth, but the portrait sculpt looks great. You got that rippling in his chin. You have nice details in the vein here. Forehead, you have the nice details in the wrinkle. I really like how defined his neck is. Really thick and muscular the way you would expect a Thanos statue to be. Nice details in the head, in the ears. That all looks great. They got his typical line work along his shoulders, chin, elbows. His arms are big and buff. Really nice details in the muscles. Even here along the forearms, he's got nice veins. You can see the definition in his triceps, in his biceps. You got some details in the nails and really nice definition in his fingers where the bends are. And check out that forearm, it's massive. Moving on to the torso and his suit, he has really nice details in the area around his neck. And then you have another gold that they use for some of the crevices. They also use this black to give an accent and some more depth. I especially like how it goes all the way around towards his back. The metallic panels along the neckline look pretty cool. It does really have that kind of thicker metallic look. Really nice details there. And then as you move down into the fabric parts, you got this really nice line work in the textured fabric. You got a couple different shades of blue. You got some textured areas and some flat areas. Really nice. You also got another metallic piece that wraps around the waist. You can see here on the back that it, it breaks into three different parts, two on each side of the leg and then one at the back. Really nice detail how it also, the metallic thing that goes around his waist also falls around to the back here and also connects to the back piece of the torso. 
And then moving on to the legs, you got this big old buff lower body here. His thighs are super swole. His calves are just as big as his thighs. This guy's <laughs> massive. He's got like some brownish green pants. They also got that same line work that we see in the blue on his top. The boots look really cool. They have the design from the torso coming down to the boots right here from the kneecaps. They also have dirt at the very bottom of the boots to really show like he's been walking around this planet and like how he's about to snap. They're really form fitting, which you weren't expecting a boot. It almost has that same kind of legging look that he's wearing on his pants. It all feels really kind of minimal and simplified. I do kind of wish there was more details there, but at least it's consistent with the rest of his outfit. Real minimal line work, real stylized, but still looks really cool. And there you have our review of the Stanos milestone statue from Diamond Select Toys. Really impressive with the scale, 20 inches tall. It's got a great job in the sculpt and the paint. And really cool that they give you an alternate gauntlet. You got the fist or the snapping gauntlet. Same here. I really like the details in the bronze. I think they did a really good job. If you guys want to add this to your collection, retails for about 350 bucks from Diamond Select Toys. There's a really cool figure of the Mad Titan in his glorious pose at the end of Infinity War. If you guys want to add this figure to your collection, as always, check the links in the description. And stick around, check out the rest of our playlists where we unbox and review all kinds of awesome collectibles, and we got a lot more coming. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. You should have gone for the head. Find Tip Creative Studio.